We work for um, a very good sort of responsible broadcasting company. So if the worst came to the worst, hopefully we would be um, looked after in the remuneration. Management regarding the credit crunch, I should imagine they would, because we've got a good general manager. His name is Pat Healy. And <laughs> Fingers crossed it stays OK going forward. Job? Um, I think the, the credit crunch is going to affect a lot of places, workplaces, but not where I, I work in L for Lush Cosmetics and um, they kind of do like nice little gifts that are really cheap yeah. and they make you feel good. So uh, probably the opposite, the people are feeling pretty down right now so they could come in to buy themselves something nice to make them feel a little bit happier about themselves. Yeah. So I think quite the opposite. Um, it doesn't affect me that much. And uh, fingers and crossed it stays OK going forward. OK. Um, fingers crossed it, it shouldn't come to that contacted me and said you know you've had it you, you've had a lot of creditors after you've got to go bankrupt so but one of the ways it's affected us already is our Christmas party has been cancelled so no Christmas for us this year no Christmas so party we're tightening our belts yeah we are tight it, um, if the bonus was would cut it would definitely affect things like paying off the credit card and things our bonuses might come down slightly people are redundant they've got to tighten their belts I borrowed money from the bank and the interest rates went up and up and up I couldn't repay the mortgage and it just couldn't keep up with the garage repayments and everything in Rye in Sussex. So that was it. Yeah, because we always have like a, a certain amount of customers, so now it's half. Yeah, it's slowing down. Slowing down. Yeah, there's not many people. Um, the credit crunch has affected me because um, like, I went to Sainsbury's to buy some food the other day and I bought like a pack of crisps, a pot noodle and something else and it came to nearly £5 okay. and it was just shocking. I made the guy recount it again right. because I was just so like, I was like, what, well, this can't come to £5. So yeah, it's affecting me food wise, apart right. from that, not really. Oh yeah, it's been quieter since uh, the credit crunch started, so it's very quiet now. No, I'm not a member of the trade union. Do, do you know what you're... To be fair, I don't even know what a trade union is. Okay. <laughs> but, but, you know, I, I'm, I have, have a complicated life enough as it is, let okay. alone joining another group or trade union or whatever. So, All right, okay. Yeah. Right, yeah. thanks very much for my that. My pleasure, my pleasure. Thank you. You know, I suppose we have got a trade union. To, to tell the truth, there was this girl, and then was Deborah. Remember Deborah? She was, you know, redhead, fiery. And she was about union, union, union. They eventually got rid of her. They pushed her out, and since then, silent. You know, so I really don't think they want union in this in this company. I'm not. I'd like to be, but I can't even afford a tenner. You know, I can't afford a tenner. Thing, yes, of course. Because in the end of the day, it's not my fault, is it? So I come and do my work, and uh, I don't know what the politicians doing. The politicians doing there, so. I think they should fix fix the problem, and I don't want to uh, be affected because of them their mistakes or let's say. So can I the, the trade union is good for the workers. Okay.